source the largest predator in history. Spinosaurus was a large theropod dinosaur that is known to be the prime candidate for being largest known carnivore yet, larger than the Tyrannosaurus rex, Archontosaurus, Gigantosaurus, Bahiasaurus, Sorophaganax, and Wapusaurus. Spinosaurus was estimated to grow lengths between 12 to 18 meters. Latest research supported the largest estimated size estimate as much as 15.6 to 16 meters, 49 feet long and likely weighed about 7.6 tons, 8.4 tons, or more. Its mouth had a similar appearance to that of the irritator and succumimus, crocodile-shaped. It got its name, which means spine lizard, because of the tall spines on its vertebrae, bones of the spine, some reaching a height of 6 feet. They formed a sail along the animal's back, though not like those of the Permian mammal-like reptile Dimdrodon or Auronosaurus, the hadrosaur that lived in the same time period as the area and may have been a prey on the Spinosaurus. The large vertebrae of Spinosaurus that give it its name have been a cause of a great deal of controversy in recent years, with some people claiming they were a crap sail into Dimdrodon or Adaphosaurus, and others arguing instead that it wasn't a cage or humble thing to a bison or a rhinoceros. The remains published in 2014 have shown that the vertebral spines narrow at the top nearer the front end of the animal, which means they would not have supported a thick fatty hump. However, they still do not display the characteristics of a true sail back either. There were few channels for blood vessels meaning it likely wasn't for thermal regulation. Sail-backed reptiles have the supports for their sails that are thin. This can be seen for example in modern basilisks, whereas the vertebrae of Spinosaurus are thick at the base and narrow towards the top. In life the structure would have appeared rising from the body to form a triangular shape over the animal's back, and viewed from in front, as opposed to either a shrink wrap sail or a large hump, it would have been most akin to chameleons. However, the vertebrae towards the animal's hips were thicker and could have supported a hump perhaps to aid in buoyancy or balance. Spinosaurus primary weight is its mighty 5-foot arms with 25 to 30 cm fingers armed with 15 to 20 cm claws, designed for killing and occasionally for walking. The arm would swipe had another predator causing the claws to dig extremely deep into the flesh while the fingers are just an extension. Making the claw go deeper into the prey or competitor causing great pain. Then, secondary weapon is its specialized 1.6 meter jaws. These jaws are formed for the grabbing the prey, clamping down or suffocating it and they are most similar to the crocodile. So, scientists guess that it used them like a crocodile, to throw prey from side to side. Brutally torn the prey into smaller pieces. The jaws also had conical teeth like today's crocodiles. The teeth were hollow, designed for fish hunting meaning it had a relatively weak bite compared to other predators but is able to kill all the same bites from the source once thought to be a semi-aquatic animal. This is the elongated feet, hydrodynamic design, and sensors in the form of small holes, on the top of its snout. They were perfect for locating fish in the water. This was found when in 2010 an isotope analysis by Romain Nader and colleagues found that oxygen isotope ratios of Spinosaurus teeth, including teeth of Spinosaurus, indicate semi-aquatic lifestyles. However these speculation has lately been fallen out of favor. Isotope ratios from tooth enamel and from other parts of Spinosaurus and of other predators from the same area such as Carcodontosaurus were compared with isotopic compositions from contemporaneous theropods, turtles, and crocodilians. The study found that Spinosaurus teeth from 5 of 6 centimeters and isotope ratios closer to those of turtles and crocodilians when compared with other theropod teeth from the same localities. The authors postulated that Spinosaurus switched its living, hunting territory between terrestrial and aquatic habitats to compete for food with large crocodilians and other large theropods. This strongly suggests that the Spinosaurus has more amphibious, lives both land and water, lifestyle rather than a fully aquatic lifestyle.